Hi, so for today we're going to talk about um, derivatives, so finding derivatives using the increment method or the definition of the derivative. So this is not finding the derivative by power rule, quotient rule, or product rule. It's simply using the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of certain f of x. Okay? So the definition of derivative is given by this equation, f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0. Okay? So, um, what are we going to do here? If we have a function that is in terms of f of x, okay, what we need to do is simply to replace all the x values okay, for this x plus h. Simply replace all the x values by x plus h. And then we're going to subtract it okay, in the f of x, subtract it from the original function f of x given over h as, and evaluate the limit as h approaches 0. So again, the f of x plus h is simply we're going to replace all the x by x plus h in the given f of x. And uh, we have to subtract it from the original f of x and evaluate its limit as h approaches 0. So let's get started. So we know that the derivative of a constant such as this, f of x is equal to 6. We know that the derivative of that, that is equal to 0 by using the rules. Okay? So, but if we are going to use the definition of the derivative f prime of x, we can evaluate the limit of that. Okay, the limit of f of x plus h. Since this has no any x term, since this is a constant, we simply put six. Okay, okay, minus the original f of x, and that is our f of x. That is six over h. Okay, and as we can see here, the limit of h uh, of this 6 minus 6 0 over h as h approaches 0 okay we know that 0 over h is simply what 0 okay? 0 over h is 0 so if we're going to evaluate the limit of 0 as h approaches 0 so this is a constant 0 is a constant so the limit of a constant is the constant itself so we have a 0 here so the limit of the constant Okay, this is a constant, is the constant itself. So the, the, the derivative by definition of a, any constant is equal to the constant or zero, equal to zero. Okay? Derivative of any constant. So how about for number two? If we have an f of x equal to 3 minus 14x. Okay? So f prime of x, we still... Uh, stick to our formula. That's the limit, okay, of the function f of x plus h minus f of x over h. We're in in our f of x plus h. As you can see, our given f of x now has an x. So we need to replace that x simply with x plus h. So that is our f of x plus h. So what will happen? We have three minus fourteen, okay, and we simply replace this x since this is multiplied to fourteen then we are having x plus h here. We simply uh, substitute uh, x plus h, replace this x with x plus h. Okay? So all of the x's should be converted into x plus h if we are to use this function. Minus, okay, minus the original f of x. What is the original f of x? This is the original f of x. Minus 3 minus 14x over h according to our formula. Okay, so I put a parenthesis so that you will not be uh, confused of the distributing the negative sign here because so many so many students forgot the negative sign to distribute the negative sign. So we have a 3 minus distribute this 14x minus also distribute the sign 14h. Okay, minus 3. Okay, this would become minus 3 and this is plus 14x over h okay so as you can see some of the uh, terms here will cancel by algebra so we have, we have 3 minus 3 is 0 negative 14x plus 14x is 0 so we are left with what the limit the limit of negative 14h over h as h approaches 0 and we can see that this two would cancel 
So we are left with the limit of negative 14 as h approaches 0. And again, this is a constant number. So the limit of a constant as h approaches 0 is the constant itself. So since there are no h terms here inside the limit. Okay, so we have negative 14 for our derivative of 3 minus 14x. For number 3, okay, for number 3, let's try to have f of x okay, is equal to x squared. So, again, using the definition of derivative f prime of x, we are going to replace okay, all of the x with x plus h. So, what will happen? That's our f of x plus h. So, we have x plus h squared. That is our f of x plus h minus the original f of x, which is x squared. Okay? So... Or let's let's write it as this. So minus x squared. Okay. So over h. Okay. In order for us to evaluate this, we need to expand this. Okay. Using FOIL or your technique on how you are going to expand this. So first, in expanding this binomial. Okay. So we have to square the first term. And then the, the second term would be x times h, which is hx multiplied by 2, and that is 2hx, plus a squared, the last term, plus h squared. So that's the expansion of x plus h squared. Uh, if you're going to do FOIL, you're going to get the same answer. Minus, of course, x squared over h. So as you can see here, some of the terms would actually cancel. We have x squared minus x squared would be 0. And we are left with the limit of 2hx plus h squared over h as h approaches 0. So we can factor out actually what the h in this, uh, in the numerator. So we have h, 2x plus h. Okay, so we have factor out h in the numerator so that it would be cancelled by the h on the denominator. So we have now the limit of 2x plus h as h approaches 0. So if we evaluate now the limit, okay, there would be no problem because uh, we have uh, the only problem is that if we have a 0 on the denominator or if we have an h on the denominator. So if you evaluate the limit of this 2x, Okay, plus, sim simply substitute the value of h as 0, so that would be 2x. Okay, so we have evaluated the limit of this by substituting the value of h0 in our inside the limit. Okay, so our answer is 2x. Okay, for our last problem for this video, probably our last problem, so the f of x... We are given f of x, 10 plus 5x minus x squared. So again, all of the x's should be uh, replaced by x plus h. So we have 10 plus 5 times x plus h because that's an x minus, okay, we know that this is x plus h squared. Okay, this is our f of x plus h minus the original f of x. That's our formula minus 10 plus 5x minus x squared. And that's over, of course, h. So we have, if we are going to expand this, so we have 10 plus 5x plus 5h. We have distributed 5. So, and we know this, we know the expansion of this. Take note of the negative sign or the minus sign. We have x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. So distribute the negative sign okay, inside. So we have negative 10 minus 5x plus x squared. We have distributed this negative sign or minus sign. So we have over h. Okay. I'm so sorry. I could not draw a straight line, so, but I would try. 
Okay. And here we go. So we have the limit now as h approaches 0 of 10 plus 5x plus 5h. I distribute the negative sign minus x squared minus 2hx minus h squared minus 10 minus 5x plus x squared over all over h. So as you can see, if we simplify the numerator, we have 10 minus 10. We have 5x plus 5x minus 5x. We have negative x squared plus x squared is 0. So if we are going to simplify that, we have limit of the function as h approaches 0 of the 5h minus 2hx minus h squared over h. And we can factor out some h in the numerator because all of them contains h. Our goal is, is simply to, to always uh, eliminate this on the denominator so that we can evaluate the limit directly. So we have limit of h multiplied by 5 minus uh, uh, 2x minus h over h. Okay? So we have canceled the h. So we have now the limit of simply 5 minus 2x minus h as h approaches 0. And we can now evaluate or simply substitute the value of h here. So we have on the h, so we have 5 minus 2x because there will be no problem. It would not be an indeterminate form or undefined. So we have minus a 0. We have substituted the value of h. So our answer for this is 5 minus 2x. Okay? And by the rule of derivatives, you could also solve that. Okay? So Thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Injir Ava. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something for today's video all about uh, finding the derivative of a certain f of x using the increment method or the definition of the, the derivative. So thank you so much and God bless.